Let's talk about opacity. It is sometimes also referred as alpha or transparency. The term itself comes from optics, and to say it's simple, it just determines how much light is blocked by an object. An opaque object will block all light, whereas a transparent object will pass all the light. If an object passes some of the light, it is called translucent. An example of an opaque object is a mirror. By the way, the word comes from the Latin word opacus, meaning darkened. So how does this work exactly in digital images? You might have the feeling that opacity is something that only affects the current layer, which is actually not true. It is actually a blending algorithm which gives the perception of transparency. The amount of opacity determines per channel color how much of the current layer will be used and how much from the layer below. For example, if we set the opacity of the red box to 50%, the resulting color will be half red and half blue, with as result a purple color. If we put this to a formula, it would be something like Multiply the current color value with the alpha, then multiply the remainder of the alpha with the color from the layer below. And finally, add them together to get the final color value. Just a quick reminder, the alpha value is nothing special. It is just the opacity value represented as a number between 0 and 1, whereas the opacity is mostly represented in percentages. By the way, this is a very simple representation without taking the alpha channel into consideration. The layer below can also have an alpha or an opacity value. Changing the opacity also affects the alpha channel, just like it affects the color channels. If I use the two boxes I used earlier, but this time, the lower blue layer will have an opacity of 50%. Let's check the result. But let me first turn off the background color, so our sampler will register the correct alpha values. We can now see how changing the opacity affects the final alpha channel value. If you look at the color values, we can also see they are different compared to when the blue box was opaque of which I have a small version here. When I enable the background color, the color will change as it will be blended with white. If you're interested, here is the complete formula. Basically, it is calculating a new alpha based on the existing alpha values, then this new alpha is used to adjust the color values. As we have seen, Opacity is a quick way to change the alpha value of a layer. We can also use a curves adjustment to change the opacity or the alpha. Let me use this image as an example. In order to do a comparison, I will clip it to the left side of the canvas. I will then duplicate this layer and move the clipping to the right. With the layer on the left, I will change the opacity to 50% you can definitely see that the left part has become translucent. Now, to the image clipped to the right, I will add a curves adjustment and modify the alpha channel. I will lower the alpha by half. As you see, both of the layers have the same translucency. Pretty amazing. Now that we know the theory of opacity, let me show you a couple of use cases and interesting ways how opacity can be used. As opacity controls how the two layers are blended in, it is mostly used to dim down effects. So if I would add a gradient map to this image with 100% opacity, we would get a totally different image. But with the help of opacity, we can really dim down the effect resulting in a gentle color cast in the image. Here is an interesting case. Let's reuse the same image and duplicate it with command J, 
followed by command I to invert it and with the shortcut key 5 I can quickly set the opacity of the inverted layer to 50%. Look what happens. We neutralize the image to 50% gray. In the next upcoming videos I will make use of this technique and show you its use cases. The reason why this works is that we take half of each layer and then add or blend them together, which always results in a value of 0.5 for each channel, resulting in mid-gray. Another interesting use case of an invert with half opacity is by applying it with subtract blend mode. Let me add an invert adjustment to this image and put its blend mode to subtract and then set its opacity to 50%. We get this nice contrasty image, which looks very similar to a multiply effect. There is a difference though. Let me show you. I will add a curves layer without any adjustment, but will set its blend mode to multiply. This way, the image will be multiplied with itself. If we compare, with the inverted half opacity in subtract blend mode, it looks very similar. However, if we look closely, the inverted half opacity version is more gentle in the darker areas, which in my opinion looks much better. Anyway, I think we're drifting away from the subject of opacity. All in all, it is good to understand how opacity works and hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching and until the next video.